can't believe someone was actually drinking milk outside in triple digit heat. Hi, people of the internet. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is a Q&A. Normally I do live streams for this type of thing, but I wanted to mix it up and I haven't done one of these in over a year. So I came up with the opportunity for my patron supporters to provide questions for me that best dig deep into my brain so all of you can get to know me a little bit better. It is 114 degrees Fahrenheit today, so excuse me for not wanting to work on a car. I am, however, picking up parts right now for the Forester, but in this book is all the questions I transcribed from Patreon. It took like an hour to do this, and uh, throughout the day, I'm going to be reading these off and answering questions for you, and hopefully these are better than just... What's your age? What's your height? What's your favorite food? So, these are pretty good. All right, first up, what keeps me motivated? Being able to do something for a living that I thoroughly enjoy that in turn makes other people's days better and helps distract them from whatever crap is going on in their lives. That keeps me motivated. Next question is what is my guilty pleasure? My guilty pleasure is actually salty foods. I like olives and sardines and anchovies and mackerel and licking the rim of a margarita glass instead of actually drinking the alcohol part. <laughs> Next question is what was my day job after serving the military but prior to starting YouTube? And it was I was an operations manager for a target distribution center which was not my favorite job I've ever had in my life. My degree is actually in logistics, despite my military background being as an aerospace technician. Next question before I go inside and grab these parts is, how did I get into mechanical work? The ASVAB. I scored a 94% in the mechanical area of that test. So it's just, I have a natural ability, I guess, for it. I've always had an interest in solving things. Hubs. Here, have a cat banana. Oh geez, this is heavy. So, next question, I'll get to that in a second, is what project would I pursue on YouTube if I didn't have to worry about views? I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I already have pretty weird cars that nobody really searches for on the internet. So I'm not exactly going for views by choosing cars like the ones I have now. I think I'm already doing that to answer your question. What was my dream job as a kid? My dream job as a kid growing up is I wanted to be an automotive designer, like the styling of cars back then. I was just really into art and it was just, I don't know, cars are beautiful. Next question is, does OCD help or hurt with working on cars? You tell me, does it hurt or help? It hurts if you're an automotive YouTuber. However, in real life, I think OCD is a good thing to have when working on cars because if you think about it, especially if you're in motorsports and you half-ass and cut corners working on cars and then you're gonna risk your life driving them, that's just stupid. It's a new day and time for some new questions and I'm gonna do the fun stuff first and then we'll get into some deep juicy personal questions. So first up, uh, where do I want to travel in the future? Australia, in New Zealand, and Japan. Are there any activities that calm me? Uh, yeah, animals calm me, so spending time with animals and also going on long drives by myself. Childhood memory I never want to forget. That would be my grandma. I was mostly raised by my grandmother and she passed away of leukemia in my junior year of high school. So I actually have a tattoo in part of my sleeve for her. That wasn't exactly a fun question, but next question is, what do I do to chill when I am not working on project cars? I like eating food, even though I'm super skinny, and I used to enjoy exercising, although I haven't really had time to work out lately. I cannot wait to film their view on this thing. It is the Volvo XC90 T8, and it is dope. Hello, teeter tot. I had to drop off some parts for the TT in my storage unit. Kept stepping on them in my garage. Let me answer one question in here because it's about 63,000 degrees. 
Has the success of my YouTube channel made content more or less enjoyable or difficult to make? Thank you for considering me successful. <laughs> um, I would have to say by far it makes content more difficult to make because I feel like I have a higher level of quality I need to maintain for all of you. And that's why this thing is sitting in my storage unit for so long because I don't want to half-ass build this car and I don't have the facility or the resources just quite yet to do what I want to do with it. So uh, it's stressful. It is. It causes anxiety. Bye Cedar Clock. Whew. It is a hot one today. Look at that. One, one, one. Back in my garage. I have uh, something weird I need to try to do real quick. And I'll continue answering questions. This is an intermission. I did it! Pump up the jam. Pump it up. Something, something, 90s beat. Pump, pump. Next question was, do I plan on tracking any of my cars? I'm working on it. Trust me. We have 14 mil. Take this caliper off of the rear knuckle here. And I will show you why I bought that hub because it does not go to a Forester. Rotor. Uh, there's the rotor. I took this off so I can measure from where the hub bolts up to the knuckle to the face of this hub. Reason being is those hubs that you saw earlier go to a WRX with a 5 on 100 lug pattern. However, it's different where it bolts up to the knuckle. It's the same as the STI. Let's take you out of your box. This right here, this bolt pattern where the, the hub bolts up to the knuckle on the rear of the car. This is the same on the 08 to 17 Subaru STI, but the STI is a five on 114.3 pattern where this is five on 100, including my hair. The same as my Forster. And just get a crude measurement here. It doesn't have to be dead on. We're gonna go up about 66 millimeter. Take another measure right here. It's approximately 63. So we're looking at like three mil difference. It's probably dead on if I were to take off the parking brake. So that is, that's good. Now this isn't ever going to bolt up to the knuckle on the rear of this Forester. It's gonna bolt up to the rear knuckle of the STI. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Sit in the driver's seat, frog. Got some questions to answer. What personal traits do I like about myself? That is such a self-centered question. I don't, I don't know. I think I have strong work ethics and I have a lot of perseverance. I don't quit, I don't give up. And I don't know if that's stubbornness or just willpower. I don't know if that made any sense whatsoever. Next question is, why is my trash can blowing around in the wind outside? Because it's stormy. What was my biggest mistake in life and what have I learned from it? Getting to a point in my life where I was too comfortable. You get up at a certain time, you go to bed at a certain time, you go to work a certain time, you get home a certain time, you collect a paycheck, it's super easy and you just ride it out. That is the worst way to live a life because we only got one shot at this life and you don't know when it could end. And if you just stay comfortable, you will never grow as a person. I almost went flat broke starting this YouTube channel and I don't regret any bit of it. The personal growth I've gained from this is 100% worth it. Next question. How many days is it gonna take me to film this Q&A video? Yes, I'm at the abandoned warehouse. I'm filming a second video while I'm filming this one because time management skills. <laughs> so, has doing YouTube for a living changed you as a person? And if so, how? Yeah, absolutely it has. It's definitely given me thicker skin and also more self-confidence. As odd as that sounds, you think it'd be the opposite? 
Next question, what is the biggest misconception about you? The biggest misconception about me is if I choose not to discuss certain aspects of my life, certain attributes about myself on social media, it is not out of disrespect, it is out of self-respect because I do not owe anybody an explanation for why I am me. The only thing that matters is whether or not you have a good heart. And the only way you will ever see that is if you take the time to truly get to know somebody and not just make a judgment on face value. Next question, where do you see yourself in the future and where do you plan on taking your channel as it continues to grow? I would hope to continue to grow the way I have been and expand my capacity to build project cars a little quicker without cutting corners in quality and helping teach people in the process and sharing my knowledge with others, especially in helping mentor creators who are trying to get into this atmosphere of YouTube. There's a milk jug over there. I can't believe someone was actually drinking milk outside in triple digit heat. Unless they were doing it at night. And the Roadrunner's back. Anyway, I'm done filming the B-roll, so I'm gonna take you with me. I feel like this entire Q&A has been me migrating from one air conditioned spot to the next. I can't help it, it's hot. All right, let's bang these last ones out. That's not what he said. What would I change about myself? I'm way too hard on myself, way, way too hard. And it's because I just like pushing myself to see what I'm capable of, but sometimes I should just dial it down. What is my favorite music? I am all over the place with music. Depends what kind of mood I'm in. Uh, lately, I've been listening to a lot of Mallrat, some older Tiesto sets, and some Rage Against the Machine and some Halsey. How would your friends describe you? My friends, the first thing they'd probably say is that I work too hard and I work too much. But this is a one woman show here, so I'm doing the best I can. Hopefully one day I'll have some help. Uh, what am I most afraid of? Failure, but also failure is inevitable and it's good. It's, it's good to accept failure but I'm so afraid of failing I don't know why what makes you angry I don't get mad very often at all I don't think I'd have to say ignorance hatred and going to take a pee at night and someone leaves the toilet seat up and you go to sit down and you don't have a wide enough ass and you end up falling all the way into the bowl and you just pray that they flushed it Hello boys. Thank you to all my patrons who submitted those questions. I hope I did my best on answering all of them. I kind of like cut out the ones that were repetitive and similar to other questions. And for all of you who watched this all the way up to the end, hopefully this gave you a better idea of who I am. I just tried to make this as raw as possible and not like a boring Q&A like, Hey, what's your favorite smell? What's your favorite color? You know what I mean? Stuff like that. I feel like that's my last Q and A's that I did. They were boring. So I, I don't know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Also, I know it seems like a lot of car reviews lately and that's because I'm waiting on parts to do what I'm about to do to the Forester. And I do have some parts for the MR2, but I think you guys are kind of like tired of seeing that for now. So I'll do that content in a little bit. The cage in the Focus is almost done, and once it's finished, I'm gonna be bringing the car back over here. I'm gonna start prepping it for paint, as well as installing a bunch of other stuff I have for it, including something that hopefully will be finished that's being fabricated for the car by a company that's sponsoring some stuff for it. And uh, we'll talk about possibly adding some power to it, even though it's a two-wheel drive rally car, but still, why not? It's a rally car. So, um, thank you guys in general for um, subscribing to my channel, those of you that subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, I've never asked anyone to subscribe to my channel before and I'm a stick by that. So, you do you. Anyway, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.
Bye.